Are we ready to move? Are you sure? Mukakasa. The spirit of the Lord is taking us to another level. Yes. Amen. Believe me. Unzikirize. The spirit of the Lord is taking us to another level. Let's read the verse number 15. And the children of Israel said to the Lord, We have sinned. Do no, do to us whatever seems best to you. Only deliver us this day, we pray. Choka tuwonyo olwa lero tukwe gairi de. So they put away the foreign gods from among them and served the Lord. And his soul could no longer endure the misery of Israel. Niba jamu bo baka tonda abadja, niba wede za mukama, omoyo gwe, neguluma, negumuluma, oluwena ku za isiraidi. Amen. Amina. This is where we are going to take off from. Dan, we are excited to have you and the wife today. Erina, Dan, you did not know you missed the wedding. Only seven days. They've been married for seven days. So why were you seated back there? We're happy to see you. How is marriage? Very good. <laughs> Let me take your seat. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's so good in English. I also know English, but I want to speak to you that the message will reach home. Amen? Uh, this, is, this is not Edina. This is uh, Spora. The reason I'm talking to because I've just talked with Erina. So, but then is, so I'm going to be preaching in Luganda and my interpreter Amen. will be translating into English. Okay. But I'll also speak a few English words. I was in the spirit on the day of the Lord. So when I was meditating, uh, the, I, and I meditate and I read the word. But there is a word that sticks on your spirit and, you, and then you know this one, this one. So, verse number 15, part B is, 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 is what really stuck in my heart and I began to to develop a message. Where it says that 16 actually. Ah, 15. Huh? 16. <laughs> Where it says, and his soul was grieved for the misery of Israel. Negumuluma or in Nakuzai Sidaidi. Makawi de Muruganda. Owen Naku Abana Waisa Jebari Baitam. Because of the misery that the children of Israel were facing. His spirit or his soul was grieved. It is unbelievable. Techikirizika. Ntikatondo moyo gwinzo kumuruma. Oyokwanga gori monaku. God's soul can be grieved because you're going through misery. Nobody has ever told us that. Tewali yali achi tugambie kechi. Wanga fetuba tumanyi katonda atunyigi de katonda atabuse kati katonda atebe. Bokole ensobi katonda kati atunude neri tayagala kula bako. We've been told God is angry, mad at you and he's even turned the but other side the to look at you but which says the children came and told him we have realized we sinned against you but now Lord we put away any, any other God that we used to believe in our trust is not anywhere else our trust is in you God we ask you only the thing save us 
tulokole. Save us. Tulokole. The misery was too much. Kubange naku yabaitiria. And they only have those two words. Lord, do whatever you want to do. To Neba muganti mukama fe tukole cho nacho nayagalo tukola. But save us. Na yo lwalero tulokole. And then God answers. Katonda nadamu na gamba nti. In the new king in the, in the King James version it says. Muzivondola yakabaka yakobo egamba. God saw was grieved over the misery of Israel. Nti ememe ya katonda nanyolwa orenna kuya Israel obo moyo bwene gumuluma. In the amplified version it reads. Kati muzivondola ya amplified. God's heart became impatient over the misery of Israel. Nti omutima gwa katonda ne guba anga tegukyaiza chebero bakuguminkiriza naku ya Israel. Now this time around I don't want you to look at Israel even as they are in battle there. Yes, God is taking care of them. This time I'm talking to you. Kasera kano sagalote otunulire Israel wadenga bali mulutalo na yenja gala weteke mchifana nyichi noti katonda yogera nawe. God's heart has become impatient over the misery on me. Ntio mutima gwa katonda te kuchayiza kuchebero bachi guminkirizo olwenna kujempita munze. And God becomes uncomfortable because of what persecuting me. Emirembe katona ne jimu gwako erebye binjiganya. And then the message Bible says. Kati enzivunula ya message yegamba. And God took Israel's trouble on heart to his heart. Katonda na twale mitawana ja Israeli jonna na ajiteka ku mutima gwe. I came to tell you this afternoon that the misery that you feel on your heart God came and took that misery and took it to his soul. Amen. You'll understand it in a few minutes to come. That you've been going through that trouble sometime. I want to talk to the students. I was once a student. I was once a student. And we used to revise. I did not go to the boarding section all my school life. But we placed ourselves under the guise of the rules we of boarding section. We were nine section. boys. We to go to the primary school. We were to go to the primary school. We were to go to the primary school. We were to go to the primary school. We And we put ourselves into the boarding section. We were to go to the primary school. We were about 12 days. We were to go to the primary school. We were to go to the primary school. So we requested for permission from the headmistress of the primary school. And we asked her that we wanted to spend some nights there because we were preparing for our examinations. My friends used to call me Mr. Teacher Wongusomesa. I was good at mathematics, pure mathematics. And I was doing very well in economics. So we said, let's put ourselves in, 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 in what? Muchisulo ne tukamba katuweteke kwa muchisulo for those 12 days. Wakile na kukumi na bili. Ne tuwe sonde le sente. And then we fundraised among us ourselves what we would eat. Ngate tuina bulangiti. We had no blankets. Ne tuina suka. We had no bed sheets. Wabula tuina majaket getuwe bike. But we had only jackets or coats to cover ourselves and we revised. And the results come back. Kakati ebya ebya vamo bikezo ne biko mawo. And my mathematics paper got lost. Olu papula rango ram mathematics sobo roko balangalu buse. Who you manje na zewari Susan? My sister Susan is here. Yadi ya kola mchibuga Kampala Road. She was walking along Kampala Road. Nenge nda yo. I went to her. Na gamba chokola chichitu dam. And she said, "You have to repeat. Go and register again." Nentambula Kampala Road. I walked Kampala Road. I was sobbing. People were thinking maybe an insect is in my eye. I was asking God, how did I offend you? I went to Natete at Makai College. I re-registered the second time. And we sat for our exams. And they declared that the results were out. And they gave us the numbers. I want to speak to the students that these things don't only happen to 
the people in workplace, but also even as you study, there are things that happen to you and you wonder whether God is concerned. My friend is called Nsubuga. My wife knows this friend. I told him I, I'm scared. I will not go. Go and help me check. So he went to Makai College in Natete. He came back in the evening and told me Mathematics our mathematics papers, yours and mine, did not come back. I know what I'm talking about. The misery on your heart. By that time, I did not know that really God cares. When you are in such a situation, you can't even think that God is taking care. The Bible has said, and God took it on his heart. He was impatient because of the misery you are going through. Our God is a good God. He has better plans for us. The Bible says plans which are not of evil but to give us a future we hope for. The devil is a liar. From the beginning is a liar. The Bible says in the book of John 8, 44. The Bible says in the book of John 8, 44. When he talks about a lie. He talks about himself. That is what he has. Because in him, there is no truth. He says, he was a murderer from the beginning. He does not stand in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources. For he is a father of lies. Therefore, I urge you, don't lie at any one time. Because when you make a lie, you are a child of the devil. I came to speak to you. The devil is a liar. And is an accuser. According to the book of Revelation chapter 12 and verse number 9, the Bible says, the great dragon was cast, the serpent of old called the devil. Satan who deceives the whole world. He's a deceiver. He's an accuser. I wrote these things down here and says, the devil can put you to test with his accusations. And then he stresses you. He begins to condemn you. And you see yourself down. You see yourself, you are hit and you are ashamed. And you look at the world and you say, everyone looks down at you. And therefore, there is no solution but you deserve to die. I came to speak to your spirit. That's a lie from the devil. You don't deserve to die. You are a child of God. Your father loves you. No matter what has happened to you. No wonder the Bible says. For God loved so the world. That he gave his only begotten son. To come and die for you. And he says that. So that. No one should perish. I say again, no one should perish. That one includes you and myself. But have everlasting life. So the devil is lying to us. But God is mad at us. He tells you things that are true. He can tell you you committed three abortions. 
Don't be scared. That is the fact. What are you saying, devil? People know that you have a fourth one and you're about Begin to Begin to talk to the devil using scriptures. Yes, I know I am a sinner. The Bible says Romans chapter number 3 and verse number 23. That we all fall short we sing and we come to that level we fall short of the glory of all of us ask the devil yes you are telling me I am all a sinner us. but all of us are sinners all inclusive, of us. inclusive of Spola all of us tell him devil so what do you Bo want to say chitufu, yes. I am a sinner even bishop even a sinner, but the, the only difference is yes, we are you that when Jesus shed his blood. We who were once sinners. Are now in the basket of righteousness of Jesus. So David, what are you saying? The devil can speak to you and tells you you are nothing. You deserve to die. I came to tell you these words. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Come unto me you who are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. I will give you rest. Brethren, people are heavy burdened. They will not share with you, but people are carrying heavy burdens. Can you share something with us? Okay. Yes, you as a Uganda. Praise Jesus. Never as a Katondo Rangiria, no Kwangans and Suma Mugambi and Nigerian. I bless the Lord for this message because I told Bishop that this is specifically my message. Msumba Wagamba, Oba Bible Wagamanti Sitani Murimba. When the Bible says that Satan is a liar, Tarimba Bataliba Locole. He does not only tell lies to the non-born against. He does not only go to the newly born against only. He does not only tell his lies to those that do not congregate. Let me tell you about how Satan has been telling me lies the past month. So last month I entered into a very deep depression. My reason or cause for depression is because I felt like I'd stagnated because I've worked in the same position with the same organization for three years so I thought I should have prom been promoted by now. And I felt, and I felt like I've been a good worker, a diligent one at that. I've done everything that I possibly could. I have prayed. I've believed God. They even appreciate me, but no promotion. So the devil came and told me, You don't even deserve to be alive. How can you live without the promotion? You've believed, you have prayed, you've done, you've been diligent, but you've not been promoted. But this is how the devil packages his lies. He blindfolds you and makes you forget all the good that God has done for you in the past. Now let me show you how he blinded me. 
Ensi jendimu e, egenda restructuring basala kaba kozi. At my place of work yonna. in the nation where I am there is a downsizing or a restructuring nationwide. Kati muchitongo le chafe basaze ko 60% ni baba goba. So in my organization 60% have been downsized and retrenched. Nze nensi galawo. But I stayed I was kept. Echo search to no leader. The devil blinded my eyes towards Nze, that. I was only looking at my promotion. Echilala. The other thing is February ngabili mo bili. February 22nd. Na kole mbaga. I had a, a wedding. A wedding. Oh, I had a wedding. Yeah. Na kole mbaga. I had a wedding. God gave me a husband that I did not even pray about that I was not even expecting. I rejected this particular man for three years. Until I felt conviction and I said yes to him. So February this year 22nd was my wedding. And we were very happy. The devil blinded, blinded me towards all that. The house that I reside in has a very spacious window, just like this entire glass you see of the door here. That's the window. So the devil came and whispered and told me, kill yourself. Level Jensula level 14. I sleep uh, 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 on level 14. It's a story building. Kalineri ko level 30, makumi asatu. It's a story building of 30 levels, so I sleep on the 14th floor. Katinga, ni ku 14th floor, nga buliru na kunzija antunula mudini seri. So every day I would come and I would sit beside that window and look through that glass. And I would tell myself I can actually jump through this window and commit suicide. Because I am hopeless now. Those are the whispers of the devil. One day I came from my place of work and I was sobbing and I was sobbing and I could not even be restrained. I felt like I was dying on the inside. My husband could not even restrain me. My body broke down and I felt pain throughout my entire body. Easter Sunday. I went to the hospital. I was admitted and I was on trip throughout the Easter season. I was in depression and my body was broken. But I bless the Lord who saw me through all that. The devil is a liar. He can bring a lie, any lie to you. And he blindfolds you and makes you forget. You can even read the scriptures. But you're blindfolded and you can't even make sense out of it. But I bless the Lord who gave me victory through even that time. Can you please give the Lord a bigger hand? Who can even ever think that Erina can have suicidal thoughts. First husband. First husband. First husband. They have wells of oil. You, you've gotten a rich husband, but you're having suicidal thoughts. The husband is not a Ugandan. He's an Arab who is not doing bad financially. Point somewhere and tell the devil you're a liar. Andrew. Andrew. Can you even contemplate Erina having suicidal thoughts? The devil is a liar. Sitani Mulimba. I want you to know. God is intentional. 
When he brings a word through Pastor Elijah, there are people that he wants to rescue. It can go even through a young child. The devil is a liar. Sitani mulimba. Mire. The devil is a liar. Sitani mulimba. I feel in my spirit. Mpulida mumoyo gwange. Yes, I'm talking to you. Njogera nawe. I feel in my spirit. Mpulida mumoyo gwange. To speak these words to you. Njogera ebigambo bino joli. The devil is a liar. Sitani mulimba. Did you hear her testimony? Do you want to relate her testimony with what you are going through? The devil is a liar. Sitani mulimba. Should I finish these words? <laughs> I repeat, the devil is a liar. Let me ask all the girls to stand up. Not the mamas, but the girls. If you know you were a girl, stand up. You are a girl, and you are a girl. Let the mothers also stand up. Remember the testimony of Mrs. Kamiuka. Mrs. Kamiuka told us she conceived the devil whispered to her to commit an abortion she got a dream of me telling restraining her but she was determined to commit that abortion and she indeed committed an abortion but she almost lost her life I'm not encouraging you to go and be impregnated. But even if you, got, if you get it, please do not commit an abortion. I repeat. I don't encourage anyone to get pregnant if you are not married. We are born again. But in case you, you are pregnant, even as I'm speaking now, and you are planning to abort, don't do it. If you jump on these words, you, you might die. Because the devil is lying to you. It doesn't mean that if you get pregnant, then that's the end of your life. It doesn't mean that I told you the tide is going to change, but it has changed. This is serious. This is serious. God is so loving.
Did you hear? Mwulide. Njogela na mwabachala. Mwulide. I am speaking to the ladies and the girls. The Siri Nabi Ayagalo Kaka Sant Chen Nayogera Chatu Kirida. I am not a prophet who wants to see. Jengolichu Siri Gamba, don't abort. The wave has changed and it is saying Tojam Lubuto. When the children of Israel realized that they have sinned, they came to God and told him we have sinned do whatever you want but save us save us and God put it on his heart God is putting on heart whatever you are going through Amen. 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 Did you hear that? Okay. Let's sit. Tutule. When you are suffering in all sorts of ways, God is also feeling bad. I'll bring one example of, of David and Absalom. Every time I share, I read the revelation changes. David gave birth to so many children. But God was a man after God's own heart. And David committed so many mistakes. He was an adulterous man. And he gave birth to so many children with different women. At one time, he wanted to conceal his sin and he committed more sin by murdering. But God had said that he's a man after his heart. But because he committed this sin, God told him the sword will never leave or depart from your house. So one of David's sons or children born from another woman raped the sister. But yet there were relatives or they were related. Anyway, Namukwata. And he raped the sister. And Absalom was furious. And he planned and murdered. So that is how evil started in David's family. A man who had God's heart. Absalom was heart. Absalom ran from Jerusalem and was hit somewhere. And he stayed there for a while. But David's heart was in pain. And he sent forth for Absalom to come back to Jerusalem. When Absalom returned to Jerusalem, and he had another plot. He wanted to dethrone his father. So the father had to run out of the city. But as David was running for his life, he left his wives back in the city. So one of the evil advisors advised that the only thing that will keep your father away from coming back to Jerusalem is if you take your father's wives to be your, your wives. This was an abomination. He gathered the entire Israel and he lay down with the, with the father's wives. Up 
on a story Everyone that would come out, the entire congregation of Israel would know. Even get a rage, become furious towards this son called Absalom. Because no husband would wish to see their wife with another man. But David's son offended his father that much. My expectation would be that David should have killed Absalom. What do you think? David should have killed the son. David is the man after God's heart. But I want to bring out that message or that word that says in the book of 2 Samuel chapter number 18. The book of 2 Samuel chapter number 18. Verses 1. Jolie. Are we there? Let's read quickly. Uh, uh, go to the next verse. Go to the third verse. Uh-huh. Go to the fourth verse. Mm-hmm. So this is what he so says. Kabaka nava gamba and chemo sima chena kola kabaka na imiria kumabali go muliango abantu bana neba furuma ebi kumi nebi kumi oraba sindi semurutaro. Now he was sending out his men to war. Then the king said to them, "Whatever seems best to you, I will do." So the king stood beside the gate, and all the people went out by hundreds and thousands. Kurumbani, Absalom ne jeri. Now they had gone to wage war against Absalom and his army. But here, the words of the king, now the king had commanded Joab, Abishai, and Itai, saying, deal gently for my sake with the young man Absalom. This is what all the people had when the king gave all the captain's orders concerning him. If you and I were given an opportunity to meet our enemies, you would wish to kill them. You would wish to inflict pain so that they could eat it. He would wish to But David commands his captains to deal gently with Absalom. At the end of the story, the soldiers killed Absalom. And David wept a lot. But the point I want to bring here for your understanding is that this man that had a heart regardless of the evil that the son had committed against him, when it comes to murder or killing, deal gently with the boy. Do him no harm. The Spirit of the Lord this afternoon is speaking to you. He doesn't want to hurt you. I know you have done all that you have done. Pastor Elijah does not know Nathan. Whatever you have done in the past and whatever you did even yesterday, the Holy Spirit knows it all. But he says, Deal gently with my child. God has hope in you. At mind, the next day you are going to be the best person. So the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. I can't imagine. It, it, it does not even register well in my thoughts. Erina called me on and she told me I was thinking she's going to tell me the good life. And she tells me, Bishop, I wanted to commit suicide. 
I didn't know about it. And I asked her, Erin, are you okay? The devil is a liar. Sitani mulimba. Chino chizo kulaga. This came to only now confirm somewhere. that you can also get in a conundrum you are good for nothing. and the devil tells you I came to speak to your spirit you are good for something before God you are good for something before God please don't take your life Others have not done like Erina did. But our uh, pastor later has told you our uncle, they've gone for his burial, Andrew, educated. And a science teacher now. You get enough money. money. You've married. And then there was separation between him and the wife. He said, I will drink myself to death. The family thought probably he tested HIV positive. They went, ran the test, and it was HIV negative. They said maybe he's diabetic. And he decided to drink himself to death. That's another type of suicide. Now they're, they're headed for his burial. His children that need to be taken care of. You can decide to do stupid things. And Why do you have to do stupid Students stand up on your feet. Students stand up on your feet. I have shared with you my experience. But I did not commit suicide. Who would have had the patience during that time? I could not even see myself that in the future I'd probably want to be But it was all in God's plan. God knew that though I had lost this, but He was planning and preparing for You don't have better. to lose your life because of this, what you're saying here today. God has a better plan. God has a better plan. I'm speaking to you. Makerere is a very good university. Makerere tende kero dunji nyeri awakuru. Nkozi, whatever, those are universities that we know. Nkozi, nama tende kero malago nage tui now. But they don't make you to be the best person in life. Sige, gaku fulo kubanti gwa singa yon. It is God who makes you the best in this life. Katonda ya kufula singa yon bula mubu nsi. So if we have God, Kubango lina katonda, Kubango lina katonda Helen, If you have God Helen, Ebi lalabina ja, My spirit is heavy. Somebody wants to do something wrong with your life today. My spirit is heavy. God came for you. He came for you. You don't have to do something wrong. There are others who have already been there. Yes. Who are going to be Sylvia, you know those things that are happening nowadays in schools. Children in school now think suicide. What is it? No, it's nothing. Praise the Lord. 
Symbiogate and Emperor and Angi touched him at him. Mutual to the one of church, but student may not be careful. One time we were seated here in church. The devil knows what your future holds, so he wants to kill you prematurely. Mm. I often share with the youth. There is a student that attends Saint After prayer, we stayed back. She narrated her story. Even the parents did not know. Encourage children to attend service. The father, the mother, they did not know. That she had a boyfriend. So she was also they would communicate via WhatsApp. They would communicate they were tablets at, at night she felt like, why has my boyfriend separated me? She took so many of them so that she can die. She was about to go to That if God helps me and I wake up, she thought, she had committed suicide. She said, I was surprised to wake up and I was still here. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. I am not married. I have <laughs> Love the Praise Lord, the be Lord. patient and wait on him. Praise the Lord. Put it back there. Amen. No. We're not boys, only basing on the girls. Even boys can commit suicide. Stupid, stupid things. Because a girl has left them. Come to church. I don't want to call somebody, but I told you on my spirit, I feel someone. There is a person that needs to be rescued today. I don't know who this person is. Who wants to be rescued? Come. Jango. 
So, but all you there are people in our midst that have been contemplating suicide. Moje. Dangua. One one one. One one six. Chichi, go bad day. Chichi, it's cool. Go. So, we are not going to be Chichi. Bonyabuni <laughs> Wese <laughs> Never get kumacha, never finished those in Angamanae. But this is gonna put you to church. I was not even about to come to church today because I had a suicidal thought in the morning. No mutuana gunga again up with church or save. Cutting away a lot of our lago. Yeah, so by two fifty one tea, Uram went down Bram Wakuni Grizzi one year. Feel like life is hard on me, so I, I thought maybe if I passed on, my children would live a better life. Who else is out there? This is your time. Kanuke kaseda ko. Satan ajaku gamanti oswala. The devil will tell you and whisper to you that you'll be ashamed. And you are, cannot overcome it by yourself. But God has taken to his heart all your misery. Samanda, we know you've suffered a lot. Some of it is the devil's doing, some of it is your own fault. But God is not tired with you. Human beings can say we're tired, we're I can say I am I am tired with your things. But I'm not God. There is a God in heaven who calls you by name. He knew you before you were even created in your mother's womb. His name is Jesus. He's the Holy Spirit. I love you. God is not mad at you. There are some girls who have made terrible mistakes. Your parents cannot know neither the past. But I assure you the Holy Spirit knows. Nobody is going to expose you to, to shame, but the devil wants to expose you to shame. Tewali yandi yagadde kuswazo bakuletera buswavu na esitani yayagalu kuswaza. You are shame him and come out and say, I need help. Because help is available.
Amen. Amen. Help is available. Help is available. The devil is a liar. Stan Mulimba. In America, the devil even goes as far as taking it to the pastors. And pastors commit suicide. Because they are stressed. It's a so please don't hold yourself back. Amen. Amen. Mary, come and we pray. I'm so okay, no, no. Bed out. Changwa. You know that God loves you. You know that. You know that. You know that. You don't have to mind about what people say. The devil uses people and God uses people. I want to affirm to you that God loves you. Take it from me today. God loves you. And whatever goes around you, he puts it on his heart. He is determined to save you and to bless you. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your daughter. Today we have heard your word that our misery is your misery. The devil is a liar. And when he speaks of a lie, he speaks from his resources. But for this reason, the Son of God was manifested that he may destroy every work of the devil. As I lay my hands on my sister Miriam, I come against every evil attack from the grave. Devil, you cannot take the life of Miriam. No, 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 it can't happen. I command you to go away with your sicknesses in her life. In the name of Jesus. I release I release an anointing upon your life. I command you to be free. I command you to be free from every evil thought. It is all right. It is okay. God is taking care of you, Miriam. He loves you. This is your day. The devil is a liar. As we said in the beginning, he Thank you, Holy Spirit.
Father, I pray for comfort from above. I pray for comfort from above. In Jesus' name. Just remain there. The Lord is comforting you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Will you give the Lord a big hand? Pastor, just down to him. Namma ba him be muje. Jagara timbo timbo rogamanti yansumo rulanze. Yansumo rulanze. Muruje gere. Please be ready to be touched by the Holy Spirit wherever you are. Wait again. Now all your come be wako moyo mtukovu. Sema ndem kama kuyamba. Sema ndem God is helping you. Now em kama kuyamba. God is also helping you, sir. You don't need to take your life. That is a lie from the devil. You have a microphone?